So I just recorded seven minutes of blurb and forgot to turn the mic on. Uh, you learn these things. Anyway, I'm sitting in the greenhouse for a bit of peace to get away from the uh, computer and the TV and everything because there's just too much tales of war on the, on the media at the moment. So it seems there's war going on everywhere, doesn't it? Every, every story is just people, skylines with bombs going off, people running around with Kalashnikov shooting at each other, big black clouds of smoke going up into the sky. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it just makes you wonder if we're hitting some sort of a tipping point or... I get the feeling that outside our safe little European, American, Western enclave, it's all just war going on all around us. And uh, I think we better be careful because uh, we don't want some nutcase deciding to press a button. And about three years ago, I remember doing a video, you can look at it on YouTube if you type in Gaddafi on my channel. Uh, and I, I said that I know Gaddafi's a crazy dictator, but sometimes these countries need a crazy dictator. You need to be crazy to be in charge of all them people, uh, volatile people. And uh, and then you get people saying, no, we've got to we've got to eliminate him and give the country freedom. Yeah, freedom for what? Freedom for everyone to be uh, the head man and everyone riding around on pickup trucks with machine guns on the back shooting at each other. So we're seeing what's happened in Libya now. Oil tanks burning everywhere and it's a right mess there. It's just terrible. It's everywhere we've touched has turned into disaster. Uh, um, Iraq, Saddam was the evil guy. Get rid of him, get rid of this tough guy. Then you've just got loads and loads of different uh, factions fighting each other and you hear about bombs going off every week in, in Baghdad and it doesn't even get the uh, headlines when 50 people are killed. And the same thing's going to get even worse in Afghanistan. And and I'm thinking, uh, you know, we always got rid of the top guy and thinking we're giving these people freedom. And now I'm seeing a lot of Putin beating uh, in the news. Yeah, fair enough, the, that plane got shot down by those rebel soldiers. Uh, but uh, everyone's calling like Putin a dirty liar and uh, kind of destabilising it, putting all them sanctions on, on Russia and uh, making it probably pretty hard there. And um, I'm not a lover of Putin at all. I, I know he was the head of the KGB and he'll have a whole host of skeletons in his cupboards. But he's a strong guy and that, that country needs a strong guy. If you could imagine a country the size of Russia with all that old military equipment laying about everywhere and atom bombs and God knows what they've got up in Siberia. Imagine that place going into absolute anarchy and that, that whole biggest country in the world being a mock with absolute nutcases and new kids on the block who've got a point to prove and have got a Kalashnikov to shoot. And then we'd have nearly the whole world in war, it wouldn't be called a world war, but it would be a world war, literally, because all the countries are fighting apart from us. And it's not going to be long then before some nutcase gets hold of a, a nuclear weapon and presses a button, because you can say Russia's a long way, and the desert's a long way, and Libya's a long way, but not in, in a term of a missile. Uh, it's, it, it's here as well, you know, a missile comes over in a few minutes, in a few hours. So we better start <clears throat> taking a bit of care and watching what we're doing because uh, we should learn the lesson that often meddling with stuff is not a good idea because we make it ten times worse. And if uh, we start meddling too much, then uh, we're going to be in trouble. And I'm just thinking that there's that old saying that the policemen used to... The older you get, the policemen start looking like children. It's the same with politicians, like uh, they all look about my age now, the politicians. And uh, I'm thinking that guy could have been the kid sitting next to me in the class, the, the dumb, not the dumb kid, but the, the slimy kid no one liked. And you find that's kind of what politicians are like, because they're professional liars. And uh, they're not the best people to have with fingers on buttons, you know, I don't think they're the most stable people in the world. So... I think we should take care of that a little bit, not not be uh, getting too... Not like it was with Gaddafi calling him a dirty animal dog and everything, because uh, then you take on the 
the aspects of your enemy, don't you? If you start talking like they do and fall to their level, then you know better than them, then, really. So you've got to draw the line somewhere. And, yeah, that's all I can think, really. You know, I wish the man on the street somehow had a voice because the man on the street has got a common sense on his side. All he wants is his, his greenhouse to grow his tomatoes and watch his film or have his beer or just chill out with his family. He's not really bothered what's going on in the world as a whole place because um, that's an artificial reality, really. People just want peace. They want to be able to walk down the street without someone shooting a bullet into them for what they believe. Or for th things blowing up all over the place and everything in ruins. You think we learned all that in the Second World War, but it seems like that that stuff's been forgotten rapidly. All we can remember is uh, who won the last World Cup or something. <laughs> Just a fool like you Watching Facebook in my room But the prophecies are coming true We're sleepwalking to our doom Here's a message to the man in the street it's time to wake up from the dream Forget about the football scores Take a look at all the fucking wars And it's a very, very, very small world To a missile on its course To a missile on its course